Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm going to show you the best low end shaders, shaders that will run on any potato PC. You've heard it right. Actually, these shaders, you're gonna be very surprised about it. If you've ever heard of Builders QL, you know that it performs extremely well on low end PCs. I'm gonna tell you this, out of all the shaders I'm gonna show you today, Builders QL is in there and it gives you the lowest FPS. So that means all of the other shaders that I'm about to show you will give you more FPS then Builders QOL. So some of these shaders will run extremely well as if you're not even running shaders at all. Before we get started, click the join button down below to actually get access to some really cool perks and support this channel. Of course, you can also click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up if you already enjoyed this video. So the first shader pack of this video is going to be Silder's Enhanced Default and this is actually the one that performs the worst. It's still a low end shaders nonetheless, but it's definitely not the one that performs the best. But on the other hand, it's also the one that has some of the most pretty looking features. I'm talking about features like shadows, really good sunlight that actually looks very realistic, not to mention the great looking water. It's wavy and on the surface here, it looks like it's not that reflective, but if you look at it from a distance, as you can see, you can clearly tell that it is, in fact, very reflective. I do want to mention that if you go over to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and then select the Enhanced Default one, go to Shaders option, you should actually set it to Profile Fast and then click Done, which will change the shader settings to the fastest settings, which will give you the best FPS and will make it perform similar to Builder's QOL. Which brings us to the next shader pack, which is actually Builder's QOL. It's called Builder's Quality of Life. That's what the QOL stands for. And this shader pack actually performs similar to Silder's Enhanced Default when you set it to the fast preset. So this one has some very different features, but nonetheless is a great shader pack. It includes blurry water, very custom looking water. It doesn't have shadows, which is why it's still very playable on low end PCs. It has cool looking clouds and very bright sunlight, which actually makes Minecraft look very cool. So one thing I do not like that much is the blurry water. It's this blurry by default. You can change that, however, and I recommend you do because even if you set it to a little less blurriness, it's already going to look so much better. I haven't completely disabled the water blur, but it's just very subtle now and it actually works way better as you can see way better through the water and it actually looks way more realistic. And now the next shader pack before we move into the very, very lowest of low end territory of Minecraft low end shaders. This is Chalkpick the Toaster Edition. It is the last shader that I do not want to include in the lowest of low end shaders ever because this one just doesn't match the performance of some of the shaders I'm about to show you. That does not mean, however, that this thing does not run great on low end PCs. It actually does. It works really great on low end systems and it should give you very, very good FPS. The performance impact is minimal with this one. Even if you do have shadows and very cool looking sunlight, I believe there's even a bit of a sun glare if we go over here. Look at the sun just shining through the leaves like that. That just looks so good. It's actually the shadows and the sunlight that make this feel like a wonderful shader, even though those are almost the only features this pack includes because it doesn't include any wavy stuff. It doesn't actually include custom water. It's just very default, very still, not wavy at all. There's no reflections. But because of the shadows and the sunlight, this one just works really well. So this next one is called Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders. And this is one that I hadn't actually checked out before. I don't know why. I don't know why I just hadn't heard of this before. Well, I kind of heard of it, but I never knew it was this good of a shader. So that's why I decided to include it as soon as I checked this one out. And actually, I know what you're saying, Daniel, this looks like a high-end shader and it looks like something I'll never be able to run. Well, I completely agree because this is the default preset and this is what it comes with. And this is the settings that you're going to see when you actually launch the pack. And these are not going to run well on your low-end system. I can tell you that. I mean, the water is beautiful. There's beautiful sunlight. I think there's even anti-aliasing. There's ambient occlusion, shadows, everything. There's so many features that it's almost impossible for this to run well on your PC. But what you got to do is you got to go over to your shader settings. Once once again, go over to shaders right here. The makeup shaders are right here and then click shader settings and then click this profile menu a couple of times until 
you actually see very low with just this one little star right there. This will actually make sure most settings, actually almost all settings will be disabled, all settings that you do not need if you actually have a low end system. And this should change your shaders to low end shaders that will still look very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but they'll look more low end, obviously. And now this shader actually gives you great FPS and it feels like a really good shader actually. It changes the coloring in Minecraft. It still changes the way the water looks. And this is actually one that has really unique water, a type of water I haven't seen in a while. It's very calm, it's very wavy, but in a very different and actually kind of realistic way. This will still feel like a proper shader pack, however, and that's why I definitely wanted to include it in this video. The next shaders of this video are called T-Shaders, and yes, you've heard of them before, even if you think you haven't, because these used to be called Beyond Believe Vanilla Reborn, and so if you've actually last checked up on low-end shaders about a year ago, then you will definitely have heard of this pack because, yeah, it also used to be a great low-end pack back then, but now it's called T-Shaders, and it actually packs just very few features which actually makes it stand out because it has great performance. Now before we move on, can we just appreciate this insane world generation that Minecraft 1.18 has brought to Minecraft because this just looks fantastic. And then a bit right there just spills over the edge and you get these amazing waterfalls. I mean this terrain generation is just crazy. Speaking of water, as you may be able to tell it's slightly wavy just slightly it's very subtle it's actually good because with low end shaders you should never get your hopes up too high because the more features the more fps it's going to cost you and with this one you get subtle wavy water which actually looks fantastic and it barely has any performance impact so that is what you're looking for in a low end shader this shader pack also supplies these darker contact areas between blocks as you can see right there and on top of that, it also applies some anti-aliasing to Minecraft to make it look a little bit more smooth. But you can turn off the ambient occlusion and then in return, you're going to get probably the most FPS you'll ever see in a shader pack. Because you'll basically just have a waving plants and waving water pack and then that's it. So that's like the most minimalist shader pack that you can possibly get. But not the one with the best performance. And that's why we're gonna be going over to the last trader pack of this video, which is called Yo FPS. And I know I had never heard of this one. And I actually found it somewhere hidden on some page somewhere on the internet. And then I was like, is this thing for real? And then I downloaded it, put it up in Minecraft and actually checked it out and it works just fine. And actually it works not just fine, it works perfectly. This thing is the mother of low end shaders. This is just the one that you need to get if you can't run low end shaders. This one by far gave me the highest FPS, which of course leaves room for debate because it depends on your system and it depends on your GPU. And I also read that it might not work as well with AMD graphics cards, but if you have older Intel or Nvidia graphics cards, it should work just fine. And this should probably be the best pack that you can get yourself for your graphics card. It actually just changes the lighting in Minecraft a little bit to look more bright and actually to make more sense. But apart from that, there's not much more that this pack actually supplies. That's not like there's a bunch of effects. It just applies more realistic lighting. As you can see, the fog in the distance. So yeah, people also call that distance fog, but it just supplies a realistic fog in the distance and a custom sun. It's just like, it almost feels like Chaka Pick back in the days, like a couple of years ago when it was very, very basic. And especially if you actually ran the light version, it would just look pretty much just like this. Almost like the Chaka Pick No Shadows variant. And why am I mentioning Sh Chaka Pick that much? Well, it's because Yo FPS is in fact a Chaka Pick 13 edit. So it's an edit of the Chaka Pick shaders, which is why it will remind you of the coloring and shading of Chaka Pick, but of course with a, well, I was gonna say focus, but it's like a huge, huge emphasis 
on performance. So that's been it for this video. I hope you actually did enjoy this one. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these shaders actually worked really well on your PC. If you're looking for links to these shaders, check out the description where there will be a link to danielplace.net or you can just go to danielplace.net yourself and then there will be a list of all the shaders that I've shown you in this video and you can just download them and check them out yourself. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!